Hello students, welcome to the IMS Gate Academy. Myself, Ravi Bugdula. So in this video, so let us uh, fill the application form for the Gate Exam 2026. So all the Gate 2026 aspirants so must uh, aware of it this, the Gate application already released it. So now the time to fill the form. So now let's see. So in this video, so I will discuss, I mean, uh, what are the steps need to follow in order to fill in the application form? Exactly, I'll take the data and I'll fill the form. So now just follow the my uh, session, all of you. So now just I enter the gate 2026 registration in a Google. So just I'm clicking on this, right? So now application portal is that. So now before I'm recommending all of you, before filling the application form, so important dates and uh, the brochure, information brochure, try to go through the information brochure, understand the information now. So now directly on this top of the link, you know, application portal link is there now. Just click on the application portal link. So when you click on this application portal link, now these are the first thing, you know, enrollment ID and password. So this information is that already enrolled student need to be, you know, when you want to log in, you can enter it. For the all the new, so new students, new candidates, so we have to click on registration here now. There's a button. So registration. So I'm filling the data now. Just uh, first look at it. Uh, what are the fields are there? You know, the first name, middle name, and surname. So name of the candidate which is going to appear on the your admit card as well as the scorecard. So these fields are mandatory. You know, always do check as per your tenth uh, uh, standard, as per your certificate. What is the first name? What is the middle name? What is the last name? With the spelling the correctly we need to fill it so and also this second column second part says the name of the candidate what you are going to display on uh, admit card and the scorecard card that you have to enter it so now i just i enter the uh, name and middle name and surname what the name has to display on the scorecard i entered it right so now just i am confirming this okay it is asking that uh, your name this name will appear in your gate 2020 admit card and qualifying gate scorecard please continue to confirm just continue. So after this, you know, some more fields comes out. Email address and confirm email address, the mobile number and password we need to choose. Password we need to choose. After that, you know, uh, the evaluating arithmetic expression will be there. You have to fill it and uh, uh, you have to enter and register. You have to enter and register. So let me fill the remaining data and remaining fields here now. Okay. So right now it is there, uh, our, uh, I mean, name and all, then you have to enter the email address. So allow for one more time, you can confirm your name and uh, email address, confirm email address, confirm uh, like, you know, country of residence, the mobile number, confirm mobile number. So password, you must create it, like, you know, the instructions also given. So there must contain the one capital letter and uh, letters, minimum character symbols that you have to maintain it. Then after that, you know, I'm just clicking on this uh, register. So registration is successful. Now, thank you for registering gate 2026. So SMS and email uh, containing enrollment ID have been sent to you. You need to remember this ID for all gate 2026 related communication or website operations. So that I just confirmed it done. So now <coughs> after clicking this one, so what is getting now? You have to log in this. Whatever uh, enrollment ID or email ID you got and password which you already said, just log in. So once you log in with this credentials, you know, uh, it is saying the application status. Now before starting the gate 22 applications, it is, you know, recommending you to go and read it the uh, information brochure. So all of you are strongly recommending again. So just before confirming here, you have to confirm and proceed for filling the application form. You must go and read the information brochure for your clarification in terms of qualifying degree or age limit. All the things you can, uh, anyway, there is no age limit for this one. Any, any number of times you can write it. So other information, just go through this. I mean, how many papers are the paper combination? This all information you need to gather it. So start filling the gate 20 terms application form. So now here is, if you see the uh, headlines, you know, exam, personal information, address and degree, qualifying degree information, documents and declaration, you have to do it. So already be some basic information provided. So next fields, if you observe here, here in this case, you need to select, you know, uh, select the number of test paper you want to appear for gate 2026. 
one or two. So if you are filling two, so you have to select this one. If you are one, you can select one. So let, let me go with one paper only now. So select the paper. Let's take I'm looking for computer science now. So computer science engineering, you have to confirm it. Then choice of examination cities. So depends on you. So which city? There are three options given to you. You need to select it based on your uh, you know, priority. So I just select the one paper combination and uh, preference also given for the cities. So just uh, I'm saving this information. So moving to next. So next thing is, you know, it is uh, coming to your enrollment ID, your name will be there. Then now we need to verify your email ID as well as a phone number. For this, you know, verify email address. So when you click on, so already when you logged in, so when you registered, right, automatically your uh, OTP has sent to your register email ID as well as a, a register e uh, phone number also. So that you need to verify it. So whatever OTP I received for register email ID that I have entered, so email address verified successfully. Then you have to verify the mobile number. So now both email ID and mobile number both are verified successfully. <coughs> Next fields are your date of birth, gender, nationality, category. So person with a disability information and the country of permanent residence address and your state, uh, whatever ID, like you no know, address proof ID, their number. So like name of the parent or guardian, then the relationship. So these are the basic information we need to fill it. So now after verifying this, uh, no basic details, the details of the gender nationality and uh, so what are the ID proof that number. So this information I have provided, then I am saving. And also uh, just confirm the name done. Confirmation of uh, date also done. Then moving on to next. So address for the uh, correspondence that you need to enter it. So after filling your corresponding uh, address or permanent address, then you save it, just move on to next. So next thing is that uh, qualifying degree details. Here your college PIN code, country of the college and state and uh, the town, the rule number, suppose if, the st if you are qualified, it, you know, your uh, qualifying degree is completed, that rule number and the college information would enter it. If you are still pursuing also, you know, your college name, your state, where it belongs to, your registration number, you have to enter, rule number, you have to enter it. The qualifying degree and which discipline, which branch you are from that uh, degree or you are pursuing, whatever degree you are pursuing, that uh, degree in the specialization, you should enter it now. You are asking, have you graduated in the above degree? If it is yes, okay. If no, so then uh, if it is yes, year of qualifying, you have to enter. If it is yes, means you're saying that uh, year of qualifying degree. If you know when you're going to qualify also, you need to enter it now. Degree awarding university or university name or institute name, you have to enter it. Now your college name, you have to enter, then you have to save it. So as I told you that uh, this are the information I'm filling. So the, what are the information are there that I filled it with the college details here, no? Whether passed out or if you're passing, you're going to pass out, that information is provided. Then I saved and I click on next. So next section is that uh, here is a document upload. What are the essential document you need to keep ready? So one is, you know, upload color photograph. Always you do check this, you know, what are the parameters given for the photo? Like, you know, that means the sizes and all, they're given clearly. The minimum pixel resolution is 200 by 260 and uh, maximum uh, pixel resolution 530 by 690 is given. This information should go it. And upload a signature, signature information should go it. Then upload a photo ID proof. So whether you selected Aadhaar or PAN card, what are the proof you provided that you need to upload. There are three documents required. One is color photo, signature and uh, valid proof. So let me upload the documents which are required for this. So now once you uploaded this uh, you know, image and as well as signature and uh, the upload valid photo ID, then after that, you know, anyway it is showing the one uh, pop-up message comes, you know. If there is error, error will show. If it is successful uploaded, it will show the successful uploaded here. After this, you know, the, how did you come to know about gate exam? That you can information provide like, you know, poster, internet, or social media, friends, like this, you know, whatever information you got. Then uh, what is the purpose of applying for the gate exam 2026 now? The higher study, PSU, preparation for exams, like this, you know, you can put it. Then after selecting this all information, now uh, you have to save. The savings done. Then uh, 
view application review and submit or first you can see the view application or then you can review submit it so first thing you just need to review all then uh, verify application from first you can see better now so when you click the uh, verify application form automatically pdf form comes out so you can just uh, you know see this then i am uh, submitting the just declaring this one i confirm what are the information i provided then after this you know so signature is asking that e signature so type in your full name only so just submit the application form now so data once submitted cannot be modified later press yes submitted press no to go back and editing application now if you are sure that whatever data enter correctly then you can proceed it's done so enrollment id generated now so this is a completely application form so now you next step is what we need to pay the payment okay so what is the information is given just note uh, please do not press the browser back button while going for payment some general instructions given now so now enrollment id your name of the uh, name of the candidate and application amount fee amount so what are the sir charges for this one it is shown here so now i'm just uh, going for the payment so you can uh, payment method there are very various like credit card debit card net banking is wallet is there so even upi also there so if it is upi it is generated in the qr code so now just before filling some kind of information asking the billing name so address and the pin code city the state and uh, select the country so mobile number which you are filling email address so this is basic information yes so after filling the uh, details of it uh, the basic details now so the qr code is generated that you have to scan and pay the amount and all you have to make sure that you know timer is running like when you started this one the timer is running that's going to be expired i think 15 minutes giving now sorry uh, four minutes left to 10 minutes given you have to scan it so once uh, payment is over you are receiving the like, no, payment receive successfully now what are the amount all details no enrollment id everything is came into picture now uh, for future reference better you know uh, take the print out of it so i'm visiting the home now so now once this over payment is over better you download the application form also now whatever you filled it now so now application comes out uh, with this you can see now with this name and uh, your communication address whatever you provided your qualifying uh, details what paper you appeared i mean that all the details are comes out in this one this you have to keep for your reference like you know if you see some any errors happen like when you verify it so in the future you know sometime they will give edit option also that moment you can do it but i am again strongly recommending all of you so you should make sure so while filling application form at each step <clears throat> whatever information you are providing so make sure that is correct and also you should check with the spellings also especially you know most of the aspirants do the mistakes with the date of birth and uh, name sometimes surname is not properly writing something else in the certificate something here now so when you are entering your aadhar whatever the proof you are entering that proof id that in that id your name and your certificate name everything name should be matches that you make sure sometime what happens you know you may may be giving that uh, your name is something now in aadhar card some mistake is there so aadhar card might given as a valid reference for this so that may not mismatches right at the time of exam hall so they may very ask to verify this no aadhar card so whatever proof you are providing in that name and application the form name should be same so these are the things you need to take care while filling the application form up. so i hope you understand the you know the clear process of uh, uh, in the process for filling the application form thank you so much hall